I don't do this story much, but my dad is here tonight. Dad, where you at? Yes, sir. Damn, they got you in the GA fucking poor, dude. There he is. All right, now dim the lights. I'm going to tell the most embarrassing story this man has ever told me in his life. I think I'm pretty fortunate that um, I got a birds and the bees talk growing up. I don't think a lot of people are getting that anymore, right? Like, clap if you got a birds and the bees talk. Yeah, that's like 12%. The rest of your parents are like, go behind the buckies and open your eyes. You'll see. Yeah, yeah those bathrooms ain't so clean anymore, okay? I think the birds and the bees talk is kind of done, you know, because I think teenagers know more about sex because of the internet than adults do. Like, legit, imagine trying to sit your son down right now, and you're like, so, when a man loves a woman, and he's like, what's all this love bullshit? What are you talking about? <laughs> Don't you mean when the pizza boy finds out she doesn't have enough money for the pizza? Don't you mean? <laughs> and she wants extra ranch. <laughs> it's not a DiGiorno, it's a porno. <laughs> Write that down. Uh, there's nobody back there. But dude, this is a true story. You can ask him after the fucking show how much of a psychopath he is, dude. My dad proposed to my mom with a foil wedding ring after six months. And if that doesn't let you know what part of Ohio he's from, I don't know what does. But I love the fuck out of him, right? I love him and I love my mom. They're both here tonight, right? Yes. I think they did a phenomenal job raising me, but... I would say 99.999. This birds and the bees shit is fucked up, okay? How my dad told me about the birds and the bees, true story. He goes, okay, Trevor. First of all, he told me two weeks ago. He goes, first of all, <laughs> okay, Trevor, so your mother has a garage. The second he said that, I was like, I don't think this dude's ever had sex before, you know? Your mother has a garage, and then he doubles down, and he goes, I, your father, have a limousine. <laughs> a limousine! The f no, don't clap for that. He'll whip it out, dude. He'll fucking... No, no. Dude, that is insane, right? A limousine? Dude, the fact that we didn't immediately call Child Protective Services is wild to me. Also, like, why did he feel the need to flex on me for that, right? <laughs> like, I'm not half him. Like, I can't just look down my waistband and be like, I don't know about that, chief. I don't know. <laughs> that ain't no limousine. That's a Toyota Sienna, my guy. That is a Toyota. <laughs> Third row folded down. <laughs> but do you know how weird that made it for me growing up that that was in my brain? Ruined my life, right? Prom come around, right? All my friends were like, yo, Trev, prom's coming up. I'm trying to pitch in on a limousine. You want in on this? I'm like, yo, you leave my dad out of this shit, dude. I will walk, okay? I love you too. You too, DM me. I think... <laughs> Dad, show the limo. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs>